Dark Ice Village is one of my favorite off-meta strategies in all of Battles 2. So I'm going to be showing you guys its raw power in today's video because seriously, this strategy is very, very underrated, but absolutely shreds. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So we got the map star, and my strategy is going to be a Zilly. Dart, Village, Ice, and it looks like our opponent's hero. It's going to be Smudge Cat, so let's freaking get it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the Darling Gunner as their first pop power tower, which comes to me as no surprise. But once again, we're going to go up against my boy Kevin. Now, this is a public Hall of Masters match. It's just that I tend to find the same opponents over and over again because there's really not all that many people currently in the Hall of Masters. Can we go for a round one of Zilly? Oh my god, we were not able to. Okay. So I, I kind of sold that there. I'm not going to lie. I over echoed, I guess, a bit, but it's fine, okay? Trust the process. Everything will work out. And you guys already know as well, the main objective for today's video is to overall showcase today's strategy, which again is Dart Village Ice. Now, I decided to use Azilia as my hero because we will be struggling most likely to ZOMGs and stuff. So having her mob hex ability is going to be super, super nice. Um, but hopefully we'll be fine too during the mid game rounds. I'm thinking about going for like an icicles or something, and then we should be good to go. What should we go for next here, by the way? Should we go for like the very quick shots and stuff? Yeah, let's do that. But if you're not new to the channel, then you've probably seen this strategy once or twice in other videos, but I kind of just wanted to use it again because why not? I mean, I'm using it, I think for the very first time in the hall of masters which is pretty exciting because we're gonna go against players like kevin over here that just try hard with meta so maybe just maybe we can end up pulling off a victory with using an off meta strategy and we're probably gonna go for the juggernaut upgrade here too after a few more income boosts because against round five space whites we're absolutely gonna need that let's actually just go for that right now just to kind of set that in stone we could also probably send him a few sets of space whites wait he still has yet to set down the farm guys Okay, that's something to note. He might not be farming then. Okay, I thought for sure that dude, he already went for the Vassal Barrel Spin. Nope. No, 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 no. He is using a pure eco strategy. No doubt in my mind, actually. So wow, dude. No, Kevin, once again, he realizes that he's going against us. So he most likely just assumes that I want to go late game, which is why he's using a dartling freaking eco strategy. But like, what could he be using though? Is really the ultimate question. I really hope it's not DVS. Okay, DVS is Dartling Village Super. That strategy is pretty much unstoppable. So if he is using that, then we most likely are just going to be screwed because although Dart Village Ice is pretty good, it, it can't surpass DVS, okay? And round seven is here. So I don't think that we can fully, fully defend with just a singular juggernaut, uh, but we're gonna see what happens here, okay? Because he might not even send me any yellows. Okay, wait, he put a lot of money back into his defenses though, so. We'll see what happens here. Like, we could go for an ice as well. Let's see how this singular jug holds off because we're not going to have the life advantage no matter what. Even if he happens to leak down, he can regen his lives with Smudge Cat. So, I, I guess I'm just not going to worry about that. But I really want to make sure that I eco as hard as I possibly can. And, yep, there he goes with the first blood too. Dang. Okay, so what should our eco goal be? I mean, hey, he's already stopping with the constant yellow. So, we should probably stop soon. Yeah, I'm going to stop at 950 eco, bro. Like, we're pushing this to its freaking limit. And uh, also, round freaking nine space zebras. I kind of forgot about those. Let's start going for our ice right here, right now. This will, of course, again, be our icicles. And uh, we can just start upgrading to the bottom path upgrades right now. We could also probably send him a few sets of space zebras. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, because he definitely won't be liking that. And also, space zebra eco is i think even better than constant yellow eco which is really really crazy he's gonna be doing the same exact thing over at us okay so let's at least go for cryo can here and it looks like we're gonna be leaking some lives because the juggernaut just happens to chase a little bit all good though i'm gonna go for the permafrost upgrade on that perfect Ooh. okay so we took a bit more of a punch than i thought but nonetheless we're still alive we're going to go for Icicles here too in a second. So let's go for you. Cold Snap as well. Bro, almost 1,200 eco for round 11. I mean, I'll take that any day of the week. And during these mid-game rounds with having a Juggernaut, but oh, dude, it doesn't have cam detection. That's the only kind of bad thing. Uh, but with having this Icicles, you know, it's pretty much unrushable, right? So let's just hope and pray that Kevin has no desire uh, to rush us here. I mean, we've got money though coming in left and right. So if worse comes to worse, we can upgrade our defenses, guys. And let's get to Eco win with yellows. I'm actually going to mix in Pink Eco here, too, as well. Just because I think we can get away with it. Bro, Kevin is over-defending like crazy, by the way. Going for another Dartling Gunner as well. On top of already having a Hydro Rocket Pods and a Power for Darts. 
Like, that is actually insane. Okay, so let's mix in back yellow eco because we don't have enough money to, like, constantly send pink eco just yet. I think you need around 2,000 eco in order to do that, all right? But we also want to make sure that we go for our village um, as soon as we possibly can as well. We want to go for some discounted villages so that our future dart monkeys are a bit cheaper. But at the same time, like, we've got non-existent mob class balloon defenses right now. Like, Icicles does nothing. Uh, I guess Smudge, or not Smudge, Azili does a little bit. So we can rely off her a little bit. Yeah, let's actually set her to strong before I forget. We'll keep this jug in the back of the map for cleanup. And it looks like we are able to constantly send pink eco now, which of course is awesome. We have a slight eco advantage on Kevin too, so we'll take that. And there we go for our village. Let's see if he ends up stopping. Yep, and there he goes with the village. He's using DVS. He's 100,000 million percent using DVS. And we don't have the life advantage. So there's quite literally nothing that we can do. I just kind of have to hope and pray that Kevin over here just wants to rush us because I need some freaking content, man, okay? We want to go for the freaking defense. Ladies and gentlemen, so let's go for these bottom path upgrades here. So, hmm, do we go, though? Should we go for also some top path upgrades? Because that could make the dart monkeys even cheaper. I kind of forgot about that, guys. So we could even do that as well, since we have 2,600 eco. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. These pink balloons, though, they're low-key pushing a little bit more than my liking. So we're going to have to do something about this. Like, what should we do? Let's go for jungle drums here. That could actually enhance our Icicles upgrade a little bit. So we'll take that. Let's go for primary training. That will make the Icicles even better too, because of course the ice is a primary tower. And then, yeah, we'll also go for the primary mentoring here. But I also want to go for the bottom path that creates on the village so that we can get even more money from sending all this eco, you know? So like decisions, decisions. Oh my God, that is significantly cheaper. Holy crap. Yeah, we're going to end up going for this right now. So let's go for that. And um, do we go for primary mentoring? Yeah, I think so. So let's go for that. And now we need to get these darts on the map stat. And here comes around 20 mobs. So we got to make sure that we can defend. Let's just quickly go for this. Yeah, let's do totem too. And we should be good. I just wanted to make sure that we could pop out that mob layer and uh, be able to fully, fully defend because I kind of just like quickly went for these dart monkeys here, you know. So I think that was definitely the play. Let's go for the monkeyopolis or monkey city upgrade. I'm sorry. And now I think it's safe to say... Yeah, we might be able to eco with concept purple. Yeah, because we're about to hit 4k. So let's do that as well. Can we defend against concept purple eco? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so at freaking all. So uh, I'm going to go for an ice actually down here. Let's get back to setting purples. And this will be an embrittlement, all right? All right, so now he's sending us purple eco. So we've got to watch out. Not sure if we're able to fully, fully defend. And he actually stopped, I believe. Okay, so I really don't want to die to purple eco. He probably is scared that that's going to happen. Maybe he's recording too. Like, this guy is a fellow YouTuber, so he, he definitely could be recording this. Fortified Ceramics within the AI. He went for bads over on his side. Yeah, we're going to go for this embrittlement here very, very soon. Although, this primary mentoring is not within range. So, maybe before doing that, we should freeze the water a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to end up doing that. Got to watch out here because of the purple eco. I was trying to go for this village all the way down here. So, let's go for that. Yep. Let's use that. Got to make sure that we can defend. Let's go for an embrittlement here. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Fortified ceramics within the AI too. Now, I could have went for this upgrade before, but that's okay. Let's go for primary mentoring right here right now. Perfect. And then we can just upgrade this to an icicle and pale for DDTs on round 26. But at the same time, we're going to make sure that we go for the radar scanner so that these dart monkeys right here do, in fact, have cam detection. And, yep, there's this final tower being the super monkey. So we just kind of have to hope and pray that Kevin over here is going to rush us because I want to put all my money into my defenses rather than to, like, save up to send him a rush because I already know DVS is going to be able to fully, fully defend. If you don't know, I've already made videos on this strategy. It's just too good. All right, so we got the Icicle Impale, but I don't like this cross path. So we're going to make sure that we go for an MIB Village because the 025 cross path is objectively better. I went for a primary mentoring right here. We could actually just go for the primary expertise right here right now. So let's go for that. Perfect. This will make all of our towers, literally all of our darts and all of our ices significantly better, right? So we want to make sure that we have as many darts and as many ices as possible within the radius of that. And I kind of fumbled the bag, completely forgot to go for the Monkeyopolis right here. So... 
Apologies for that. <laughs> but I feel like we needed to go for more important upgrades, you know? Like the Icicle and Pell and stuff, so. All right, so we're going to stop Eco in here at 13,001 Eco. We got the Crossbow Master right here. Ultra Juggernaut in the back of the map to help clean up. Plasma Monkey Fan Club. And we got 20 Dart Monkeys around the map. Oh, I forgot to upgrade all these, but... We upgraded all of these to at least the 230 cross path because you get extra pierce if you go with the top cross path. And we don't need the extra range or the camera detection since we have a primary expertise village. So all of these do in fact have camera detection. Ended up going with the 025 cross path as well. We could go for an absolute zero. Yeah. And always, dude, people always yell at me and tell me that I need to go with the top cross path for the absolute zero. So we're gonna give it a shot, all right? I just normally go for the extra range because the extra range is nice. But we'll try out the top cross path instead. I got an embrunnement right here, embrunnement right here. Maybe we should have like one more towards the back of the map. So yeah, we'll have one like all the way back here as well. I actually sold some of these dart monkeys too because like some of the ranges, bro, they were just incredibly bad. Maybe then we should go for like another primary mentoring over here so that we can go for some dart monkeys that have much better positions that can like do more damage, you know? So. Yeah, I think this is the play, but in case you guys don't know as well, with the Plasma Monkey Fan Club, it affects the closest 20 Dart Monkeys to the Plasma Monkey Fan Club upgrade. So right here, it will affect the 20 closest. Um, so you can have over 20, and then you can like micro it to where you need it to be. So for example, if the balloons are really pushing, you want to have the Plasma Monkey Fan Club more towards the back of the map so that those plasmas will all be more towards the back of the map. Hopefully that kind of sort of makes sense. Round 39 right now. Uh, we're okay. Yeah, he's gonna rush us here. So we're gonna go for the defense strictly and Should we counter? Yeah, let's counter because we have like no money anyway. So tower boost Use that totem And then we're gonna use that Okay, one VAD two three four. Oh my god. We shredded. Oh my god. We shredded. Oh My goodness. We shredded that. Okay. We gotta make sure that we have enough money though. Uh, he might be able to fully, fully defend. So let's sell you. Go for this. Boom. Absolute zero, too. Kind of forgot about that. My apologies. We should be good here, though. I'm going to use another tower boost, though, just to be safe. And let's micro plasma, by the way. Didn't even do that. So let's do that. Perfect. I think he's going to be able to fully, fully defend. DVS is just it's too good. I don't even have any more money to micro or send him anymore, either. Oh, my God. He might die. Maybe. Please. Please somehow die. He doesn't have any cleanup. He doesn't have any cleanup. Please, 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 please. Bro, do you see that? Oh, I'm dead. I wasn't even paying attention to my side. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Tower boost. I can't even send him anything. I can't even send him anything. Uh, I think I'm dead at this, though. Oh, my God. My homeland was just ready to be back. Okay. Ice. Totem. Okay. I think we're dead to that, though. Where's my plasma? Right here. Use that. Oh, my goodness. And here comes the final round. Here comes the final round. We were able to fully, fully defend. There's just nothing I can do, though. There's just nothing I can do. Wait, wait. DDTs. DDTs. He went for anti-balloon. No. 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 Um, ice. No. Oh, my God. I tried. Wait. Wait. Oh, he surrendered. No, Kevin, he didn't have to surrender. He built a heart and everything, bro. Kevin. <laughs> I thought I killed him to the DDTs right there. I mean, he pretty much just gave us the win. Oh, my goodness, man. But, like, both of our eco strategies were able to fully, fully defend, which is just absolutely crazy. So, y'all have got to drop a like for that. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where we see if this new $35,000 druid is finally good. It's the spirit of the forest because it was buffed in the most recent update to this game. So, if you have yet to check it out, go make sure to watch it.